Hi, uh, Angus, the singing driving instructor here again. You're very welcome to this um, lesson on um, or briefing on uh, the Bay Park manoeuvre. So um, you've either got your uh, your Bay Park lesson coming up. We're going to introduce it possibly next lesson, or maybe we did it last lesson, um, and you just want to sort of recap things, or possibly a little bit further down the road um, near your test, and you're just wanting to sort of uh, revisit things a little bit because we've been doing it on lessons and. Uh, Maybe it needs a little bit of work, possibly. Um, so either way, it uh, it should um, it should all help this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is follow the sort of explain demonstration practice uh, process. So this is the explanation part of it. Later on the video, uh, later on in the video, I'm going to cut to uh, to me actually doing the manoeuvre as well from sort of inside the car, so you can watch um, me doing it as well, and I'll sort of reiterate what I've been talking about here. Um, Okay, so what the manoeuvre is, is um, a reverse into a bay within a, a car park. Okay, now there's various ways of reversing the car into a bay, but I found over the years that the most sort of um, accurate way and possibly the easiest way for people to understand and also the way that you can do from sort of a in a smaller confined car park is the way that I'm gonna um, sort of show you to do it so effectively if that is a bay you're gonna reverse into we're gonna position the car here and then gonna pull forwards and then reverse into the bay yeah there's there are different ways of doing it um, incidentally I'm only going to teach it around to the left um, because that's the harder of the two to do so if you can you can teach yourself to do the right reverse um, right bay, uh, bay park reverse. Okay, um, now what the examiners are looking for when you're doing this manoeuvre is full all round observations. So your observations need to be what we call effective, don't they? Yeah? So effective all round observations, which is, is going to include your mirrors and your blind spots as, as well as sort of turning your head around. Um, and also control of the car okay so we're going to control the car by moving slowly but steering accurately right now what i'm going to do is give you a formula if you like for reversing the car into the bay and there's certain key elements which i'm going to talk about sort of key reference points and certain timings of things that that um um, will help you get a system for doing it but it as you practice doing it it becomes sort of more fluid um, sort of the, the more you do it okay so let's crack on this is the bay that you're going to reverse into so these dash ones are just sort of representing other bays but as you come into a car park the first thing you've got to do as you come into this car park so this is what's coming in here is decide which bay you're going into yeah that starts when you enter the car park right because what you don't want to do is drive across to this bay here and be in completely the wrong position to start because our starting position needs to be if i just draw a line joining the ends of those bays up if you imagine that line there is the curb at the side of the road the position we want to be in the starting position for the maneuver is so that you are approximately the parked distance away from the curb if it were the side of the road so this distance here if you like up there is I don't know, the distance you would pull I don't know <laughs> it's about the size of this piece of paper okay from the curb yeah possibly a little bit closer but sort of that tolerance if you like is the distance and parallel to the line or the curb if you like um, so that's your starting position in terms of distance from the curb but you also need to be in a position where um, you can get this line referenced to what's um, what is going to be your um, your reference point if you like so that's your head so in terms of distance down yeah we've got distance that way but we need distance this way what you need to do is looking through your passenger window is get that line to sort of bisect the car at a particular given point which will set on your driving lessons for me it's halfway down the door 
it depends on your position of your seat and your height and all that sort of stuff so that's the starting position that you need to get in okay and if i just rewind slightly that starting position starts over here because you can't just drive across and suddenly be in that position there's a certain amount of control in the car and coming over here for example and getting yourself coming in nicely and stopping in the correct position so that's the starting position okay once you're in the starting position if you want to stick your handbrake on and stick it in neutral you can do just while you think about things the next thing you're going to do is you're going to angle your door mirror down to the floor because we're going to use your door mirror in a second or two um, to sort of guide us into the bay all right so that's the next thing you're going to do you put in your door mirror now you're then going to select first gear and our intention is to move forward steering to the right so if you've got first gear you need to take effective um, observations yeah and you're going to put full right lock on the steering okay now to start off with i don't mind your dry steering don't tell anyone but i don't mind you to start off with dry steering that means turning the steering wheel whilst the car is stationary there's an argument for not doing that but in the early stages um it it kind of uh, helps with the accuracy of the maneuver until you get used to doing it so yes it does weigh your tires out yes it puts your power steering uh, pump under a certain amount of strain and what have you but you know it's one of those costs that i'm happy to bear as a driving instructor at the moment so you're going to put full right lock on you're going to take effective observations and then we're aiming to move the car controlling it slowly to the right now we're going to go approximately a car's length okay so as you move forward you're aiming to end up with your car in that position now the effective observations you might have someone coming down a car park like that so you have got to make sure that you're checking your mirrors but also you have a good look to the right you're going full right lock nice and slowly and you are referring to your door mirror now the door mirror you can't really see it when i'm drawing it on a piece of paper but it makes sense when we do the briefing the line will appear in a certain position in the in the door mirror so that's what we're we're looking for so you're moving forwards until you get to that reference point it takes a second or two well not seconds it takes a few times to practice getting it right but that's what we're aiming to do so when you've got to that position you stop now you can put your handbrake on again if you want you're going to get then select reverse gear take effective observations you're coming backwards but your front end's going to sort of swing a little bit as well so you need to know exactly what's going on um, around you so again observation is important and you're then going to put full left lock so you've gone from right lock now to full left lock again do it while you're stationary just to start off with to sort of get the correct number in the formula if you like um, you're then going to take your handbrake off if you put it on um, and you're going to edge the car back until um, as you're coming in what you'll find if you monitor your door mirror it doesn't matter if you slightly come over this line unless of course there's a car in this bay but we're not worrying about that for the moment it doesn't matter that you go over the line um, slightly as you're maneuvering backwards you, you you're observing what's going on but you're monitoring the door mirror so it's it's the, probably the best way to do it or the way you should do it is um when you are actually moving backwards so if you're moving a meter at a time if i take sort of that part of the car there so what you're going to do is make sure you've checked around you you're looking through back window and you're just moving about a meter and then you're stopping and then having observations around you looking through the back window and then moving again yeah but you keep referring in your observations to your mirror and what you're aiming to do your full left lock should if you've got the correct um number in the formula again should bring you around and it does bring you around to perfectly parallel in the bay but you've got to recognize through looking in your door mirror when the line is parallel with the side of the car because at that point you need to stop okay and then put your steering wheel back to straight okay so that is uh, then obviously finish it off and brake neutral um 
that's how you get the car into the bay using um, this formula okay now as you're coming in what I find myself is that I sort of refer to this door mirror as well um, it kind of helps me as I come in so you can use the, the main door mirror the main so the important door mirror to start off with is the one that you've got your reference point when um, but as you're coming in you can refer to the other one but if you've got the distance right on the side of the car then it kind of follows that that distance is going to be okay as it is okay um, so what the examiner is looking for is um, effective observations and um, reasonably accurate um, positioning of the car so controlling the car slowly but steering accurately and being reasonably accurate within the bay now if you ended up um, sort of offset within the bay right so imagine when we're reversing into this bay um, what you, you ideally you want to end up bang in the middle but if you were sort of over to one side as long as you weren't over line then you know that is okay if you were slightly at an angle within the bay then again that would be okay so long as you're in the bay it's not very good and it's uh, a little bit frustrating for other people parking next to you don't have you um, but you, you, you would get away with it but we don't really want that yeah okay so long as you're within the bay okay um, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll do the maneuver uh, film myself doing it and then um, and then you'll be able to watch it okay and hopefully it'll, <laughs> it'll show exactly what I've just done there excellent I'll see you on your lesson cheers Right, Angus here again. Um, as promised, this is the um, the demonstration element of the uh, reverse park, reverse bay park into a into a bay on the left. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've gone through the, the briefing previously, so uh, let's get on with it. Okay, now um, starting position is the key thing. So I'm going to drive across this little car park, I'm in a little, tiny little car park here and I'm going to go over to uh, one of the bays on the right hand side. I already know which one it is and I'm getting my starting position which is approximately park distance from the edge of the, um, the bay, uh, edge of the bays and so that my reference point is halfway down the door, my passenger door. So that's what I'm doing, so I'm coming around the perimeter of the car park and it's going to be probably the third bay from the end, I reckon. I've identified one with a bit of a puddle in it, so I'm coming nice in nice and slow, and I'm the correct distance away, the wheel nice and straight, so I'm parallel, and I'm running along until I've got a line halfway down my door. To me, it's halfway down the door, but it might be diff slightly different to you. I'm just a bit there. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is going to put my door mirror on the floor. Mirror, mirror on the door, point it at the bloody floor. There we go, because I'm going to use that. Yep. I'm now selecting first gear, and I'm in a good look around, especially my blind spot to the right, and I'm going to put full right lock on my steering. And break off and I'm going to move forward I'm monitoring what's going on around me nice and slowly look and then I'm going to check my door mirror until I get that in the correct position so that reference point is about there now so I'll be a photo in here there you go and I'm now sticking my brake on select reverse gear not properly and um, full left lock Okay, effective observations again. Worried about people coming from my right here, there's no one around. And handbrake off. Gently backwards and pause and monitor my door mirror. Looks perfect that, but then you would expect it to, wouldn't you? A little bit further around, monitoring the door mirror, having a look around again. Monitoring the door mirror. I'll slot in a couple of photos to sort of show what that looks like as you're coming in. It's getting parallel now. When it's parallel, I stop. Straighten the steering wheel. Now, I can't miss the bay really now, so all I've got to do is make sure there's nothing coming around me. Through the back window, and then I'm just back in the correct distance, which you can do by just sort of looking at the ends of the lines this way and that way. And it's 
it's just spatial awareness kind of thing going on, you get it with practice. Okay, so that, I'm right neutral, is the reverse bay part, the demo part of it. All you've got to do is remember now to put your door mirror back up. Mirror, mirror on the door, point it away from the floor. There you go. I'll see you on your lesson. Mm.